Happy Vlogtober day one. Oh my gosh, I'm here. I'm doing it. It's it. Cheers. Boop. So, um, I have to go grocery shopping. But before I go grocery shopping, I have to get rid of all the vegetables and everything that I had either cooked or in the refrigerator that don't match, but I don't want to eat, but don't want to throw away. I have to do something with it. It's going to make me a fried rice, chicken fried rice, because I had baked like three chicken legs and I didn't know what to do with them. I didn't want to eat just legs. So I took them off the bone. I gave it a rough chop and now... I went into my refrigerator and I have like all these veggies. Some of them probably can be salvaged and some of them probably cannot, but I'm gonna go through them, give them a rough chop. And I also have some rice that if I don't do something with this rice today, it's done. So I have chicken, I have my vegetables. I also have my sui sauce, Worcestershire W sauce sauce and then i also have some sesame oil so i'm gonna get started first i'm gonna chop up this onion just a real rough chop like in half fours eights and that's about it nothing spectacular and i'm throwing all my vegetables in one bowl right here on the side and I don't even have an egg for my fried rice. And I'm not going to the store. I'm using everything that's in my refrigerator. And that's it. I even have crowns of broccoli that I have to do something with. I had to come out that sweater, it was hot. You know, when you get to cooking, I get hot. I like to cut my broccoli up. So, so far I have onions in here, shredded carrots. This is all the broccoli that was in the refrigerator. And now I'm going to work on these peppers, but they're just going to be like, just a line, a quick cut. And I think I have some scallions that I'm gonna add in here, so. And I forgot to mention earlier, I have a little rice vinegar. It has like a twang to it. And I like to just add just a little pop just to give it some zest. That's what I like. Yes. So now the wok is already warmed up. I'm about to put just a cap full of oil in there. And I'm going to start off with my raw vegetables first. And the reason why I'm going to do that is because the chicken is already cooked. So I just want to get these vegetables a little tender, season them up a bit. And then after I do that, I'm going to add my chicken and then the rice. And one stop shop. So let's see. I always love the sound of starting, right? This is what starting sounds like. <laughs> You know, we like a little flavor. Just can't throw the veggies in there. Gotta put a little garlic powder in there. Some onion. I don't measure. I just use, I let my taste buds guide me. And then you work that down a little bit. See there. Flip it like so. And while that's cooking down a bit, even though I said I baked the chicken and already took it off the bone, I'm going to just cut it up a little bit. Not small pieces, but just nice kind of thick pieces. So when you put it all together and eat it with the rice and the vegetables, you can find the chicken. And I will add, besides the garlic and the onion powder, is a little bit of this complete seasoning. It really adds a kick. It adds a nice pop to all vegetables that you cook. I don't know what it, I don't know. It's a mixture of stuff. I just stumbled on it and it's awesome. So, and then I'm telling you, I wish I had smell-o-vision right now because just the vegetables alone is on. Mm. So right here, the vegetables are about to get a little bit more softer. I'm gonna wait a few, probably toss this around for maybe three to four more minutes. The onions are already starting to get translucent. So I'm going to hurry up and toss that around. And then next I'll be adding the chicken 
and then the rice and then suey sauce and all that good stuff. And for me, you know, my kitchen isn't but so large, so I gotta clean up as I go. Good <laughs> space get used up super duper fast. This now is for all the chicken that I took deboned off the legs. So it was a lot of big pieces. So all I'm doing is just chunking it down. Final toss. Now I'm about to, mm. Smells wonderful. Now I'm gonna toss in the chicken. And I really don't want to toss that around too much because the chicken is already baked. So that means the meat is all tender and I don't want it to fall apart too much. That's what the chicken tossed in. Now remember, this is a lot of chicken. It was like six legs. <laughs> and I didn't want it to go to waste. So all of these things are items in, the, in this wok are things that I had to cook by today. Now I'm about to add the rice and then season that up. And let me tell y'all something. Good eats. Finally, rice. Let me toss this up a bit before I season that up. So what I'm gonna do is turn this heat up a bit and get the frying before I put anything else in there for now. Sounded and looking like something. I went ahead and let this cook for a little while, and now I'm about to add my W sauce or Worcestershire sauce, maybe a few pops just to give it some flavor, and then W sauce, suey sauce, just a little bit of the sesame oil because it it changes the flavor. So you don't want to overpower it. So just a little pop in there is okay for me. And then of course, my little thing for myself, I do like a little rice vinegar. So. It's blending pretty well. I'll try a broccoli. Oh yeah. Yeah, I taste and eat every now and then. Cause when it's time to eat, I'm full, right? That's the reason why. I don't have much left though. This may be it. And it's a little sodium one too, if I have first. I think it's coming along quite nicely. I'll show y'all in a minute. Now I'm just going to put a little, just a dab, because I just wanted to give it its own unique taste. So this is how it's coming along. It is browning up quite nicely. The vegetables are not soft, but just right for me. And then I have my chicken in there. I'm not going to keep tossing it around. I'm going to let it cook just for a minute more, if that. And then I'm going to turn off the stove, and I'm going to enjoy it. And I saved all the groceries. I didn't have to throw anything away. There we go. Jail. And you got to have the duck sauce. Like, let's go. So I'm gonna put that. Today's a good day. It's always a good day when you have a hot cooked meal. Whether it was something you had to prepare for five hours, six hours. Or just make it right away. Mm hmm Oh, yeah. Happy Flocktober, day one.